So you know what screams out, this app is slow? A spinner, uh, especially one that sits around mocking the user while the activity behind it is trying to load some UI data. My name is Colt McCandless, and this is one of the most annoying UI patterns on Android. And believe it or not, it's actually really easy to fix. Uh, see, it's 2015 now, and most modern applications drive the entirety of their UI based upon information they grab from some server resource. And that's pretty straightforward. Uh, ping the server for updated data, and once you get it, update your UI to reflect the changes. Pretty simple, right? The problem here is in what the user is seeing while they're waiting for you to fetch the updated information. Uh, and sure, if the user has been using the app, then chances are the screen is already populated with data. But when you're responding to a gnarly context change or loading the app for the first time in a while, there's no data to pre-populate your view. So you have to default to a spinner on top of a blank screen. Now the fix here is really straightforward. Caching. Uh, see, at some point in the past, you've actually grabbed a valid block of UI information, except on your first load, of course. But anyhow, although the data is outdated, that your app can use that information in these situations where the fresh data hasn't been fetched yet. Uh, see, it works like this. Upon a successful fetch of some UI data, serialize it to a persistent storage along time, some uh, timestamp so that you know how old the information is. When you find yourself in a cold boot situation, you can use the existing UI data to start drawing the screen while also kicking off your server commands to grab the freshest information. Uh, sure, you'll still need to flag the user and say what new information is being fetched, but at least they're looking at a legitimate screen instead of a blank UI with some crummy spinner on it, right? <laughs> and that's really pretty much it. Uh, cache your UI data so that you can use it later when you need to wait for the server to give you some updates. Pretty straightforward, actually. Uh, Oh, by the way, it's worth pointing out that there's a right and a wrong way to store this data to disk. Uh, firstly, you should be using a binary serialization format since they produce smaller file sizes and have faster performance than human readable formats like uh, JSON or XML. Secondly, take the time to figure out the best way to cache this information persistently. Just storing it to the, the serialized blob is uh, one way of doing this. However, if your UI is dependent on a lot of complicated queries across that data, you know, unserializing that to load it may not be the best idea compared to storing it in a SQL Lite database, which could be a much faster solution. But really, any of these options is better than showing a blank screen with some spinner on it. Even if you're the fastest app on the planet, this will feel incredibly slow to your users, and user perception is what it's all about. Which is why you should check out the rest of the Android Performance Patterns videos, and don't forget to join our Google Plus community to ask other questions as well. So keep calm, profile your code, and always remember, perf matters.